The final forms of certain Jujutsu Kaisen characters are incredible. Today, we're going to compare them with their original forms. To overcome Mahito, Kokichu was prepared to unleash his entire life's worth of cursed energy reserves. Thus, Ultimate Mechamaru represented his most formidable version. Yoshinobu's technique utilized his body as a sound amplification device, enhancing his ultimate attack mode. After my sacrifice, the inherent bond as twin strengthened Maki, granting her access to heavenly restriction strength. She developed her own cursed energy, surpassing even her family members. Hanami possessed the ability to cast Domain Expansion. The guaranteed hit ability of the Domain was a beam charged with Hanami's left arm, constituting his most powerful attack. Kento Nanami wielded the ratio technique, creating weak points on his target's bodies by force. In beast mode, he became an absolute monster. Ryu Ishigori, a highly powerful individual, possessed the highest cursed energy output among jujitsu sorcerers, likely linked to his innate technique. Hajime Kashimo possessed immense reserves of cursed energy with properties resembling an electric current, keeping his body in a constant state of electrification. Eight-handled sword Divergent Sila Divine General Maharaga was the most powerful Shikigami in Megumi's arsenal unyielding to any force from the Zenin family. Yuta possessed a tremendous amount of cursed energy, occasionally surpassing even Gojo's, making him an exceptionally powerful sorcerer. Also, Yuta can manifest Rika, who aids him in battle and provides him with access to more techniques and cursed tools. At the end of Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 237, Sukuna returns to his true form, strengthening rather than hindering him. This form had annihilated many enemies in the past era, making it significantly more challenging for Yuji and others to defeat such a monstrous entity.